Okay, so here is a sample of a list that I want to change into a bullet list on my slide. And so we know that we can go up here to our toolbar and either give it a one, two, three, or the dots, or here are the default ones and, you know, maybe stars. What we can also do is search for some more bullets, something that might be a little bit more interesting. And one thing to keep in mind is bullets are actually font. So when these bullets come up, if you click one time on a bullet list, you're going to get everything in the list. If you click one more time, you can customize just that bullet. So if I click once and I get my whole list and I know this is font and I'm going to say, I want to change the color of those. So I want to change the color of my font of my bullet, not necessarily my text. So notice the word first does not also have to be blue. So you can always color the bullets that you're getting out of Google. If I want to kind of search the list, I'm going to right click and notice again, if I click once, I'm going to get the whole list. If I right click, these are my default most used uh, Google provided bullets. I'm going to go to more bullets. And this is where you can just search around um, through symbols. There's actually a whole um, list of emojis in there and um, looks like this. Okay, so you can drop this open. Um, I tend to look in a lot of symbols or emojis if you just want to bring up that emoji list and you want to use um, sort of the explosion symbol, the hot water, just kind of, it's really fun to use bullets that um, connect with the theme of what you're talking about. So if you're doing something with water conservation or something, you can use the droplet. Um, uh, just something fun, thumbs up, um, eyes, whatever. These are all could be actual bullet points that you use. So if I click on it, notice all my bullets in the background just change to this. If I'm looking for something in particular, I remember I did a presentation on Pear Deck lately and I came in here and I thought, oh, I wonder if there's anything um, in Google for Pear. And sure enough, there was a Pear in there. So I can click on it and now all my bullets are Pears. Okay. From there in your bullet list, you can decide how close you want. This is the bullets how close you want the bullets to the text or where exactly you want the text to start. How far do you want that to go over? Okay. And this is just resizing your text box inside of there. So that's one thing that you can do is use the existing bullets and maybe just recolor those for interest. Go into your bullet list and search for emojis or anything else in there that's interesting to you to use for your slideshow. Another thing you can do is go to get add-ons and search for what's called insert icons for slides. So get add-ons, basically it's like adding widgets inside your Google Slides. So this is going to be particular to your Google Sites. It's not extensions for Chrome. These are going to be all the add-ons that provide extra goodies for slides in particular. Um, so again, I'm going to go in there and I would do search insert icons for slides. And when you go to add-ons, you're still getting a list of whatever add-ons you use. So I'm going to open that in my sidebar. And icons are, are good for um, just adding interest in general. Um, you can take any of these and icons are nice because you can grow and shrink them as large and small as you want and they won't get pixelated. So I can click on this award button and I can use this as an icon or I can make it extra large and right inside of it. What sort of color do I want? You can choose something. Um, as we talked about before, if you have a specific color, you can go ahead and search it in there. Um, but let's say I want to use purple and I'm looking for, like you can tell I use the icon down here um, to use for my link that's going to take you back to the first slide. So really anything and you just kind of click on it and it'll say adding icon. It'll add it quite large, but it's a nice clean icon and you can use these icons. You can shrink it up and usually when I use the icons as bullet points, um, I will go in here and change those to something really small, even making that kind of tiny. And if I wanted to use an icon, I can just put it over so it's like you never saw it. And control C, control V, control V, and use my guidelines to line this up. Now, I need to line those up better, but you get the idea. Whoops, 
I would need to go back and fix that, but that would be my bullet point list using icons. Okay. And again, these icons are good for a lot of things. If I clicked on this little TV, um, I could use that to add interest or computer screen monitor, whatever this is, I could use this and they're already transparent. And I could say my text box is inside of there. So you can sort of stack this stuff on top of each other as well. That's just kind of an extra goodie. So there's my, um, adding icons and let's see, oops. So into our custom bullets, we have the insert icons add on, which we just talked about, which is this guy over here and you can search for whatever. And there's only two different types of fonts to look for in there. You can go to more bullets and customize there. Um, and if you don't find what you're looking for, you can always head over to Emojipedia, which we use for a lot of different things. Um, but let's say you can look for a lot of different things in here and you say, I like this one. It's a quick copy come back to your slide. I'll go back to our bullet slide and control V paste. And so here is my little icon. And again, if I wanted to use that for a bullet list, I could, but it's also useful to use for little images to add to your text boxes and things like that too. But I could take this just like I did these guys and stack it here. And that could be my bullet list. So I've got um, if I don't find them in the emoji list in Google Slides, then I always head out to Emojipd if there's really something specific I was looking for and maybe try to find it there. Okay, so going over that list one more time, we're going to come up here. We have numbers. We have bullets by default, but we want to go ahead and change those, those bullets into something maybe more custom. We know when we click one time, we're going to get the whole list and we're going to right click and we're going to go to more bullets and we're going to search in there or we're going to add this add-on and maybe use these and just drag them on top of a smaller bullet that we have on there or we can go up to emojipedia and use those too all those are ways to um, customize your bullet points to add some more interest on your slideshow